So here at the Royal Children's Hospital, we see children from as young as three. What we do in early assessment depends on uh, the age of the young person and also what they want um, as an outcome. What we see are very much um, a larger proportion of these young children persisting through to adolescence and feeling comfortable in, um, in transitioning in their affirmed gender. Um, so the, what we've found through the RCH is that 96% of young people who express themselves as transgender or have diagnosed gender dysphoria persist with that identity through adolescence. What's also changing rapidly is with the increase in non-binary identities where hormonal treatment isn't necessarily something that um, they feel they need to express who they are. So I think as more and more non-binary adolescents present, um, the treatment becomes very much more individual. And for some people, for example, what we're seeing is uh, they want some hormones, but not the usual blockers and then gender affirming hormones. And some are requesting just to have top surgery, for example, without hormone treatment leading up to that. And we take each case on an individual basis and um, try and provide what we think is best and what that young person feels is best for them too.